talk to us a little bit about staking. You know, how does that work mechanically? Um, from your vantage point, um, do you stake all your coins or just some particular? Is there a threshold, frankly, that um, you wouldn't be interested in staking because the yield is too low? Um, it it's before I even think about staking, it's more of a matter of what am I, how much am I, do I want to have on a platform? How much do I want to have in my own wallets? How much do I want to have, um, in a hot wallet, like a MetaMask or, you know, into a DeFi protocol or something like that. So, um, the first, the first thought is like, okay, how am I, from a risk side of things, how am I spreading out my assets across the different ways to store your crypto assets? Um, and then once, once, I, once you determine that, then it's a matter of like, okay, where, where am I earning yield on my assets? You know, obviously Voyager is an incredible place to earn yield, right? Because, or earn, earn rewards, you could say, I guess. Um, to use the proper terminology within Voyager. So uh, essentially Voyager is doing a lot of staking for you, right? As a user, um, you can earn 9% on USDC. Um, Bitcoin, I think is paying is, is 4.75. Ethereum is somewhere in that range. Um, so, and then uh, when you hold Voyager token, 7% um, on Voyager token, plus a one one and a half percent uh, boost on your reward uh, if you're a navigator uh, the highest tier on Voyager token 